sat in a sort of conf conference room style Hello. situation with uh, We The In Crowd at Hit The Deck. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. Have you managed to, uh, have you managed to catch any bands yet or have you been busy so far? No, we just started. walked in the door. You got. I mean, you've got quite. You got a few hours to your set. Probably yeah. three, four hours or something. You're gonna try and catch anyone before you play. Yeah, I don't know what time anybody's playing. I, I think, I think we, we like officially don't have time to do any of that. Yeah, we have a signing. We have all this press. And we play and then we go watch the, the one eaters and the smallers. So those those uh, bands definitely looking forward to today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So how's uh, obviously back in. What well, hasn't been too long since you've been in the UK since last time, obviously, you've been over with All Time Low recently. Have you, obviously, this one's more of a sort of headline run. Have you been enjoying it? It's awesome. Yeah. It's it's better than we expected. It's fun. And, I don't know. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, how are you finding the crowds at the, uh, at your, at the headline shows compared to the support slots? Yeah, it's really surprising. It's like, you can really tell, like, what fans are going to see you on a headline tour, like, on the all-time low run, it's like, oh, there's a bunch of people here, I don't know who's here for us, but like, It's good. a little bit easier to gauge kind of yeah. where we're at, you know, as far as just our band, and it's kind of cool to see that. One of the things I've noticed the most is like, we we play like support slots like for all-time low, we play these gigantic rooms, and there's a lot of kids there that, you know, are there to see us and really like our band and stuff, but you always have like the kids that are right up against the gate who are just there for the headlining band, that got there early and been waiting for all-time low. Who did that? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck <laughs> you! We've been, been there since like one in the afternoon to see ATL and just, they don't care about anything else. So this is the first tour we've ever done where both kids have been waiting there for us and they actually care. So it's nice to not see a bunch of people texting in the front row. Have you had quite a bit? Have you spotted people yeah. doing that then? I guess that's so, more of a States thing that would happen here, too. Oh, yeah. Once in a while. In States, sometimes you'll play an entire show where everyone there is texting. Every single person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> playing draw something. I mean, Rob's, Rob's not even playing drums. He's just I'm, texting, I'm too. texting while I'm playing drums. <laughs> Have you that's found... Hand. Just, just a third, just, yeah, for, just for texting. It's an indigenous arm. He likes to call it his penis. <laughs> <laughs> So as you probably get like quite a few guys that kind of phones up as well, that like, sort of thing. I've noticed that's kind of exponentially getting more and more kind of like people with like iPads and shit as well. Like kind of. <laughs> have you seen any of that? Yeah. <laughs> I have seen iPad signs. Yeah, iPad signs. Instead of drawing the signs, it's like yeah. they draw it and pull it up. Like, or like has like the uh, like the like the scrolling text. Oh yeah, yeah. I just want to see somebody hold up a desktop computer like <laughs> <laughs> like a thick old like yeah. Yeah. monitor. Like, yeah. Where's that plugged in? <laughs> Be even better if they did kind of have something to plug it into as well, like a really kind yeah, of like, like, like a back. Yeah. Just here running like. So you've got um, obviously you guys are over at uh, Grows Rock as well, and like this weekend's kind of a uh, you know if have you guys you guys haven't done anything like kind of like hit the deck I guess before in the UK. Have you We've done, done the same dance. Yeah. Actually, you did that as well. So that's kind of it's kind of similar I guess here, but this yeah. is more like separated places that are venues normally rather than a, right. a uni sort of thing like but how like how does that kind of how does this kind of set up compared to the stuff you you know maybe like walk tour and things like that it's probably they're bigger but it's all very similar to be honest I mean the only differences are the stages and and the country <laughs> it's really not it's it's very similar yeah festivals are cool because like they're cool once you, they're, cool. they're cool they're cool <laughs> <laughs> they're cool because like Especially like on the like the headline tour, we have like meet and greet, and then like in the in store, and then we pretty much play right after that. We're playing a longer set and stuff. So the festival is like shorter set, and then we can just hang out. So stop, just stop, just stop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Rob's cool. <laughs> So if you were, what, I mean, do you guys adapt to your set? Have you, have you changed the kind of, obviously you've got a little, probably a little bit less time than on the headline shows and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you, is it just a case of taking a couple of tunes out or do you kind of think like we yeah, need to I mean, we've actually figured that out together. on the way here. Um, we just, I don't know, whatever works. We, we take out the songs that might not be as popular, but still sometimes have to keep some of them to kind of keep the flow kind of going. Do you find like... Um, that there's a difference between kind of playing in the US and here as to which songs go down better? Do you think there's a marked difference? And stuff there, like that? On the last tour there definitely was. It's it's sorting it's sort of like starting to get 
similar now, I think. But um, before, I think the UK was into a lot of the heavier songs, or and then um, slowly, I think our, our popular songs are, you know, following. This tour was the first tour that we started playing a couple songs we've never played in the set before, and I don't even know what the reaction of those songs are in the states. Yeah, we've never, never played them there. I only know how the reaction is over here, and that's true. Like, the new songs we've been playing in the set have been, you know, taken pretty well. Yeah. Do you think that, is that making you want to kind of try those those ones out in the U.S. as well now? Do you think? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's cool over here too because in the states, kind of just from the time we started to come up and, and play shows and tour and stuff, um, we kind of got a weird stigmata attached to us just because of a lot of the bands we were touring with, and we don't have that problem over here. So I think over here, the kids caught on to like all the songs that we're really passionate about on the record faster. So it's like nice to come over here and like. Not have to be like, okay, well, you know, maybe next tour, you know, the core fans are gonna love this song as much as we do. Like over right. here, they love it immediately. Like we started playing a song called Exits and Entrances on the last tour here. It was the first time we ever played it, and it was just a song that we all really liked, and everyone knew it. And it was like, hmm, let's yeah. keep doing it. Not bad. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much.